Home Improvement. With love. Hi, we're Darius and Ocula Grant of DIY Power Couple. And in this video, we'll show you our front door makeover. Our front door started to look sad and didn't represent the happy energy in our home. But this one day makeover helped to restore the warmth. It sure did. And let's take a look at how we got here. This was the original door to the home. The wood frame and flooring inside the door was damaged due to a previous termite infestation and rotten wood. We knew we were going to eventually need to get a new door, but we had no idea how much we needed to save. We knew we did not want wood, so we researched other door materials and opted for a fiberglass door and frame. Here are some of the benefits. We needed professionals who specialize in repairing rotted wood frames and installing this type of door. We used our DIY skills to install peel and stick flooring in the foyer. Now this is where our makeover begins. Our door endured rain, snow, heat from direct sunlight, and natural debris hitting it. All of this caused damage to the top coating and we wanted to find an easy solution. We had an extra piece of the fiberglass door frame to take with us to the home improvement store. We thought we needed several products to one, strip the top coat, two, apply a gel stain, and three, add a UV polyurethane protective coat. It seemed like a lot of products to refinish a door, and we had to match our sample piece. We kept thinking there has to be an easier solution. We started looking in the exterior paint section that had stain and sealer combined, and then it hit us. We already have a product like this at home. We decided to use the waterproofing stain and sealer we already color matched and used on our fence. It had all the properties we were looking for. Even though it is made for wood services, we were going to try it on our fiberglass door. We kept the project simple and chose not to remove the door or hardware. We sanded some of the wood fillers that expanded and wiped down the exterior with a soft cleaner. While wiping and inspecting the door, we saw no signs of warping or rotting. There were only signs of fading. Painter's tape really helps during these types of projects. Check out our other pics on Facebook and Instagram. We knew we were going to use the fence paint, but we had to find it in the garage. One of the best tips we use is to label all of our unused paint. It's important to thoroughly mix your old paint until it's consistent throughout the container. We were really excited to see how this product was going to work. It has a 100% acrylic formula to seal out elements in the sun's harmful UV rays. We really love the texture of this paint. We continued to brush in the pattern of the green. We could see from the first few brush strokes that this was the right decision for us. 
I'm really glad you had safety glasses and a DIY is dope bandana for your hair because sometimes paint can splatter on your clothes or get in your eyes. One of our subscribers commented that she gets tickled whenever she sees us using a small paintbrush on our DIY projects. <laughs> yeah, the little paintbrushes help us with the details. They're perfect for getting into all the grooves. We spot painted the areas where the white fiberglass was coming through and let them dry while we painted another section. We used the fence stain kind of like a primer, so technically those areas got a second coat. The thing we really like about how this product dries is that it allows us to see the green texture of our door. We purposely painted the door halfway to see the transformation side by side. Those small brushes came in handy when it was time to get into the tight spaces, especially since we chose not to remove the hardware. Just so you know, we had to let this stain and sealer dry over the course of 72 hours. So we planned our painting project when we had three good hot weather days. These before and after pictures really highlight the contrast between the weather door and the radiant look after the makeover. After the paint thoroughly dried, it blended well with the other side of the door that was not exposed to the harsh elements. We're glad that our experiment with using a product in a new way turned out to be a great solution to refinish our fiberglass door. This makeover enhanced the value and overall aesthetic of our home. Now it's the perfect entrance for us. Welcome home. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you can DIY too. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.